Yeah, that's my guy, man. I love G. Um, great competitor, even better dude. Yeah, that's my guy. I think we're starting to figure out how to move it, how to play with each other, you know. Um, Boogie had a great night. Uh, DeMarcus had a good, great night. Um, Paco played, like everybody played well down the line in that whole second group. So yeah, no, I think we're just kind of um, figuring each other out and getting things rolling now. Absolutely, man. I'm very grateful for those two, you know, um, big bodies that want to hit people um, and get me open. So I think a lot of shots um, go to them. A lot of made shots, uh, they should get a lot of the credit because they're doing a lot of work to, to, to get me open and other guys open. So. I think it makes it easier once once you get some time to play with each other, you know, and, and start to understand each other's games and strengths. And, you know, a lot of us never played together, you know. No, you're good. Uh, yeah, I think I think that makes it a little more difficult. Like I'm still trying to figure out the plays. Kind of just had to like learn on the fly, you know, in game learning. So it's not the easiest, but also you know that's what we had to do. So um, I think there, there's a lot of pieces of it, like to be thrown into the fire and to be like, hey guys, figure out how to play to play together is is tough. But you can't practice during the NBA season. You're usually either traveling or playing. So it's like. You know, it's just it's the way it goes, but you know, every team's gotta go through it, so it is what it is. <laughs> he uh you know, Boogie brings a lot of intensity, you know, gets the crowd into it, um, very passionate guy. So, you know, it's I think a lot of our momentum, like tonight he had a big dunk which was a big momentum shift. And, you know, I think that's what he can bring just with his passion and, you know, some big plays he can make. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I think everybody knows Boogie. I think everybody knows DeMarcus. Um, great dude, though. I don't think he gets enough credit for, you know, how good of a guy he is. Um, but yeah, no, I, I I enjoy playing with him. I enjoy him as a teammate. So you know, he's he's been great for us so far. How low is your ideas about the role in the of the team that are being talked about right now? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think I think we're all starting to really figure it out. You know, it's just taking a little while. I think I've, I haven't even been here for a month. I don't think. So, you know, and and Demarcus less time he's been playing. So. You know, I think we're all just really kind of um, starting to click. I think it took a little while, but um, we're starting to understand each other's games more and, and you know, complement each other. So. With both DeMarcus and Michael in this early season, do you come off of them or any differently knowing the types of teammates that they are or do you read them any differently? I mean, I just I, – I always do try and do my job, you know, which is like – fly off those screens as fast as I can to get to get an open shot. And, you know, like, I trust both of them. Both of them are great screeners, you know, and they want to hit people. I think that's a big thing. It's like they want to make contact. So, you know, I played with other people at times where they didn't really want to screen anybody. And it was just, you know, so, you know, they're great at what they do. Um, and, yeah, I just, I just try and fly off. And I know I'll be open if they get a piece of them. One more game left. I think just finish strong, man. I think everybody wants to go in uh, into break with a win. You know, you know, doesn't want to have that bad energy going into break. So, you know, I think we're all pretty focused. Um, you know, I think we're all on the same page too.
So I think, yeah, everybody's focused on getting a win and, and then enjoying some time off. That's about it. Thank you, Brian.